What is up guys, the Collector19 here and today we have yet another Spy Family Anya Forger figure. This one is the title Pucciete version of the Sleepy Anya. So, here we go. Yes guys, I'm back with another Anya Forger figure review in the channel and once again, we have another Pucciete figure of the character. This one is the drowsy or sleepy Anya in her pajamas. Um, very cute figure. Oops. <laughs> Quite hefty. And yeah, it's a big figure. The Pucciete line is somehow not on the smallest side but on the average or medium sized figures. So I like it. It's hefty. It's feels like it's made out of solid PVC plastic and yeah it's an affordable figure so like I said this one is a sleepy or drowsy Anya on her or in her pajamas there it's a very cute figure so we have here a closer shot of the front side of the figure there plus the box spy family logo there Anya Porter volume 2 Pucciete figure there on the other side you can see the side profile shot of the figure there very cute I uh, like the backdrop, some gradient finish from um, purple to a or an indigo transition. Plus Pucciete there. I'm not sure if it's Pucciete, Pucciete, I don't know. Uh, on the back, we can see here the front side of the figure or the figure in its entirety. The side profile shot of the figure once more, Spy Family there. On the other side, the back part of the figure, some licensing stuff, some warnings, age restrictions, and yeah. On top, Spy Family logo there, uh, Taito logo there, Jaya logo, and this one says Muse. There's a sticker here, says Muse. On the bottom, nothing but the Spy Family logo. There. So that's it guys for a quick background and for a quick uh, look at the box design of this figure. And now we'll be taking a closer look at Anya. Take her out of the plastic clamshells and the box of course and going forward comparing her side by side with the very first Anya Pucciete figure, the one that she's wearing her Eden Academy uniform. So let's get to it. So here we have the Pucciete Anya Forger out of the box and looking cute in her pajamas, looking sleepy and drowsy and a different approach to Anya in terms of the current collection I have for her. So this figure looks good, it's kind of hefty. Uh, I like these Pucciete figures as they are solid material made of solid PVC plastic. The paint applications or the paint job is exceptional. And yeah, looking at it, there is no paint flaw or paint error or anything that I'm seeing as of the moment. But yeah, it looks good. I like the matte finish on the pajamas there. I like the feel on the material. And the paint applications on the eyes of Anya's face, it looks good. The star patterns on her nightcap there, it looks good. No paint flaws on it and yeah overall this figure is sick or this figure is cute no complaints I like the paint job on Anya's hair there somehow a matte slash glossy finish to it silky smooth the paint job on the eyes look exceptional look clean crisp and you can see every bit of detail on it so there you go plus the base uh, for me no complaints on the base it's a bit wide but it's not that kind of wide that would irritate you or the type of base that at least wouldn't collide with other bases or other figures I like this one because it's also thin so unlike some other figures I own they have very thick bases You'd ask yourself if it's necessary to give a figure a very wide base plus a very thick base. So that is it guys for the Pucciete Anya Forger, the drowsy or sleepy Anya. Very cute figure, very solid figure, great material, great paint job. And so far I'm liking all of the Anya releases by Taito for her Pucciete line. So yeah. 
I kind of enjoyed unboxing it and I'm excited to add it to my Anya Shrine. So that is it for the review of this title Puchete Anya Forger from Spy Family. And for comparison, I'll be bringing into the frame her very first Puchete figure. I don't know if it's Puchete or Puche, Puchite. I don't know. But yeah, it is what it is. So that's a side by side comparison between the very first one. Actually, this one is a second version, I think. But it's from Volume 1. Volume 1, the re renewal. Uh, Anya, I think it's, I think it's called Renewal, and the other one is the Volume Two, the Sleepy Anya. So side by side comparison, this one's a bit tall uh, for some reason, yeah. But they look good together. They look good side by side. It's Anya Forger. Like I said, I'm adding a little twist or I'm adding like a breath of fresh air in my Anya shrine. Adding the Sleepy Anya because I normally only collect the ones that have the notable outfit example is the eden garden uniform anya so yeah that's that if you're a fan of anya and you collect her figures uh in my opinion this one is a must-have or you shouldn't miss getting her puchiette figures because it's really cute it's very detailed well designed and it's made of good quality material so once again that's a side-by-side -side comparison between the volume one anya forger puchiette and her volume 2 Puchete figure, Anya the sleeping one, or the drowsy Anya as I call it. So that is it for the side-by-side -side comparison. If you're wondering where I got my figure from, I got it off Otaku Rush PH. So if you're interested in purchasing your figures from them, do make sure to check their page out. I have left the link in the description below. Like their page if you have it already. And once again, thank you so much Otaku Rush PH. So that is it guys for another figure review in the channel. Always if you have enjoyed the review, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I post videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays or better yet, hit that notification bell so you'll always get notified every time I make an upload. Also you can check me out in my social media accounts, all of the links are linked in the description below. So once again guys, it has been The Collector and this has been Anya Forger her Puchiete figure by Taito. Thanks for watching, let's collect and I'll see you in the next video.